All right, so this is a teacher video for lesson five, and I'm gonna show you how to make the hanging mobiles. So you'll wanna start with a piece of string, and you'll wanna tie it around the center of the 18 inch round dowel. The string is nice, um, even though you have to tie these for each group, it does give students the option to hold it and to tie it onto other objects to see if their mobile is balancing. So that's the first step. Now the first thing you're gonna do in the lesson is build a symmetrical sculpture as a class. So we have these uh, double-ended alligator hooks. You can also use these to hang um, the mobile. You can hook them on and hang it, but notice it just doesn't give students much to hold on to. Um, but we are using them to hang the craft sticks. So I have craft sticks, I have double-ended alligator hooks. These are just for fast clipping. Um, and then I have an assortment of washers and objects. Uh, this is kind of a boring assortment and hopefully the kids in your classroom will get much more creative and maybe uh, hang paper objects or objects inside their desk. They might balance their snacks for the day. Um, so let them be really creative with this, but for this video, I just have some plain washers. So the first sculpture that you're gonna build is a symmetrical one. And uh, you'll want to emphasize the ideas about putting everything in the center uh, and keeping the objects exactly the same on each side. So I'm gonna build that out real quick. So let's see, we'll do a craft stick on both sides. So I'm centering everything, you know, eyeball centering, not um, measuring the center. If students get frustrated and they're not quite getting it right, they can always use a scale and a ruler and really try to center it. Um, but of course, you know, not every craft stick is going to be perfect. Um, so keep that in mind that they might have to do a little bit of adjustments. I'm going to put the exact same washers on each side of the craft stick to hang up so that I know that they're the same weight within at least half a gram. So again, this is the symmetrical sculpture. Like I said, it kind of looks a little boring, but it should balance. Let's see, our string's not quite in the middle. We can kind of adjust that around if we need to. All right, so everything's the same on both sides. So then students are gonna get to build one on their own and get really creative with this. Let me go ahead and angle this back down. All right, so they're gonna be doing an asymmetrical sculpture. So they can kind of take this wherever they want to go, but the big ideas are they are going to need the same weight on either side. And so I'm going to go ahead and just take this whole thing and I'm going to move it over here. And I know that there's a balance point here in the middle of this craft stick. Um, and now there's more weight over here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some weight to this side. Students probably won't think about that at first, but they'll, when they pull it up, they'll notice that um, their sculpture is not balancing very well. And so they'll have to make adjustments and keep adding weight to all the different balance points on their mobile, depending on how many levels they have. And I'm doing some heavier washers on this side to balance out um, all the weight I have on the other side with the craft sticks. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, so let's, let's try it. All right, so this is an example of an asymmetrical sculpture that's balancing. Hopefully your students will get a little bit more creative. If it starts leaning to one side or you notice like, for example, the craft sticks are kind of leaning in this one side, uh, you can ask the students what do you think is causing it to lean that way um, and get them to start thinking about maybe too much weight on one side and what they would need to do to balance out the other side. 